the Financial Sector Conduct Authority, FSCA, on Tuesday the 7th of May 2019, welcomed the sentencing of Jabulani Tobo, also known as Mr. Cashflow, and his partner in crime, Mzabulat Sotlamini, on several counts of fraud. Ntobo and Lamini, a ruthless for its scammers, based in Dublin, KwaZulu Natal. The two are known for living a champagne lifestyle, throwing lavish parties, and showing off their wealth on Instagram, even though some people were accusing them of being for its scammers and running away with people's monies. Ntobo claims he is a self made millionaire and the chief executive of Cashflow Pro. Last year, he published a book titled, Cash Flow Naked, sharing his life story and how he made it in forex trading, and also offering financial tips for disadvantaged communities. An Angolan businessman, Francis Bully, laid a charge of fraud against Ntobo in Johannesburg last year, accusing him of having conned him of 100,000 rand in a forex trade deal, which went wrong. In 2017, Ntobo threw a 1 million rand party, after the Rand Bird Magistrates Court acquitted him and Lamini, on charges of fraud, theft, and money laundering. They topped up the party by taking a trip to French Indian Ocean Island of Reunion, to mark the occasion. In a statement on Tuesday the 7th of May 2019, the FSCA said, it welcomed the successful prosecution and sentencing of Ntobo and Lamini on several counts of fraud and contravening Section 7-1 of the Financial Advisory and Intermediary Services Act. Even though the FSC did not indicate when the two were sentenced, the matter went to the Specialized Commercial Crimes Court in Dublin in 2014. The court has now sentenced the two to six years imprisonment, two of which were suspended, and a fine of 200,000 rand, wholly suspended for five years. The FSC referred the two criminals to the criminal authorities, following its extensive investigations and adverse findings. The investigations found that the two criminals had misrepresented themselves as authorized financial services providers who could trade Forex on behalf of their clients, when they were not. This is a criminal offense, and the FSC welcomes the sentence imposed on them, as it sends a clear message against unscrupulous financial entities and scams. Their conviction is also an example of the cooperation that exists between regulators and law enforcement agencies. The FSC reminded consumers who wish to conduct financial services with an institution or a person to first check with it whether or not such an institution or a person is authorized to render financial services and the exact services they are authorized to provide. Please check in the description box below for the links to the sources of this report. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.